Now that we've set up our end-to-end -end flow in Parabola, the very last step is to set up a trigger so that this flow runs automatically in the future. We have three main options for triggering flows in Parabola, all of which are found in the top right hand corner here. And the most common option is to set up a recurring schedule, where maybe we want this flow to run every weekday at 8 a.m., or it could go as frequently as every hour or 10 minutes. Now beyond setting up a recurring schedule, we can also set up an email trigger, which is covered in a bonus lesson below, where for instance, every time this Parabola flow receives an email, often from an auto forwarding rule, we'll automatically process all of the data in that email or attachment and trigger your Parabola flow to run. The third and final option here is to add a webhook trigger, which is often triggered from an external system. Now that you know all about building Parabola flows and triggering workflows, you are ready to build your first Parabola workflow. But before you jump in, make sure to add the LinkedIn certificate for this Parabola University course to your profile, which you can learn more about below. Thanks a lot for taking this course, and please feel free to reach out to adam at parabola.io with any feedback. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot.